Secret Coders Old School Coding School Lesson 2 Binary Code Hey there, I'm Gene Yang. Today, I'm going to teach you about binary code. This is a topic I cover in Secret Coders, the graphic novel series I'm doing with my friend Mike. You definitely do not have to read the books in order to understand this lesson. Deep down inside, computers only understand two values, off and on, which are sometimes represented as 0 and 1. This means that your computer stores every letter, every number, every color, everything as a sequence of zeros and ones. This language of zeros and ones is called binary code. It's called binary because bi means two. A cycle with two wheels is called a bicycle. A language with two values is called binary code. So how exactly does binary code work? Let me give you a few examples. Any idea what 0101 means in binary? It means five. To normal people, 1000 means a thousand, but in binary it means eight. And 1100, in binary, that's 12. If you don't know how to read binary code right now, you're going, what? But don't worry, because I'm going to teach you right now. In Secret Coders, Mike and I have these birds called binary birds. This is what they look like. And in one scene in book one, one of these binary birds sees Hopper's seven-shaped earring. Hopper wears earrings that are shaped like sevens because she's a basketball player, and that's her jersey number. When the bird sees Hopper's seven-shaped earring, it does this with its eyes. Hopper gets freaked out because birds aren't supposed to have three eyes. She asks her friend Annie about it, and Annie says this. These birds are robots. Their eyes display binary numbers. Binary is how computers store numbers. Every computer has these they're like switches that can be on or off. A number is stored as a sequence of on and off switches, or in the bird's case, open and closed eyes. Hopper says, you make no sense. And Annie says, take these seven pennies. Let's play a game. I'm going to draw the board right here. Hopper asks him, you always carry pennies and chalk in your pocket? And Annie says, shh, I'm concentrating on my drawing. Now look, I've got four columns of boxes here. The first column has eight boxes, then four, then two, and then one. I want you to fit all seven of those pennies into these boxes, but there's a catch. When you're done, each column has to be either completely full of pennies or completely empty. No half-filled columns. And there is only one solution. This game that Hopper and Nenny play in the book, you can play at home. All you need is to go to secret-coders.com and download this worksheet, and then get seven pennies. Now let's see if we can figure out a solution. Take a look, every column is either completely empty or completely full. No half-filled columns. So the solution is right. What I'm going to do now is under every empty column, I'm going to write a zero. Under every full column, I'm going to write a one. This means that in binary, seven is equal to zero, one, 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 or off, on, on, on. In the book, Hopper gets the same solution for seven as we did. She realizes that seven and zero, one, 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 or off, on, 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 or in the case of the birds, closed, open, 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 are all the same thing. So the bird really is showing seven with its eyes. Let's take a closer look at the game board. You'll notice that there are only 15 boxes. So the biggest number that you can have on this board is 15. What happens if you want a number that's bigger than 15? Well, you just add columns to the left. Notice that every column is twice as big as the column to its right. So if you add another column, that column will have to have 16 boxes. The one after that would have 32. And the one after that, 64. You can keep going. You can have as many columns as you need. Each of these columns represents what's called a bit in computer science. 80 of these bits make up a byte. You know how sometimes people talk about megabytes and gigabytes and terabytes? They're talking about the number of columns inside of a computer. The more columns you have, the more data you can store. Thanks so much for being here for lesson two of the Secret Coders Old School Coding School. If you're looking for more coding related fun, you'll find it at secret-coders.com. I'll see you next time.